The chemical deoxyribonucleic acid, also known as DNA, is found within the nucleus of every cell, where it is spiraled up tightly into structures called chromosomes. DNA is the master chemical in the body, the key to all life. It contains the recipe for making proteins, which are needed for the development and growth of organs and structures. DNA is the basis for inheritance. The information that enables characteristics to be passed down the generations is carried by genes, which are made by DNA. Some proteins in the body make up structures such as skin. Others are hormones or enzymes that control cell activities. A major function of DNA is to provide the instructions for making proteins. DNA is made of molecules called bases, whose arrangement provides the template for assembling proteins. Proteins are made from amino acids. Instructions held by DNA for assembling amino acids are relayed by a chemical called messenger ribonucleic acid, or mRNA, in stages called transcription and translation. Transcription is a process wherein strands of DNA are separated along a portion of their length. Free bases attach to the bases on one DNA strand to make mRNA. The mRNA carries the instructions for making a protein and moves into the cytoplasm, which surrounds the nucleus of a cell. Translation is a process wherein a structure called a ribosome moves along the strand of the mRNA three bases at a time. The ribosome attaches specific amino acids in place according to the sequence of bases in the mRNA triplets. When the ribosome reaches the end of the mRNA strand, it detaches itself from the assembled chain of amino acids. The chain then folds up to form the newly completed protein. Body cells are dividing continuously during periods of growth and to compensate for cell damage. Before a cell can divide to make new body cells, a process called mitosis, the DNA contained in the cell must be replicated. This process is possible because strands of DNA are able to detach themselves along their length and separate. Think of this process as unzipping your coat. Each of the two strands in the original DNA acts as a template against which two new strands are built. Stage 1. The original DNA double helix splits open at several points along its length. This process produces areas where there are two separate single strands. Stage 2. Free bases from the DNA strand are attached to both of the single strands of DNA. The order in which free bases join to the single DNA strand is determined by the DNA bases that are already present on the single strand. Stage 3. While the bases attach to the strand, each of the two newly formed double helix starts to twist. The process continues along the whole length of the DNA, eventually producing two identical double DNA strands. The double chromosomes of duplicated DNA can then line up and split, forming identical single chromosomes. The resulting cells are called daughter cells, which are identical to the original cell, and these new cells contain a full complement of chromosomes. This process happens to the full set of 46 chromosomes that exist in each cell. Stage 1 The DNA in the chromosomes is copied to form two identical strands joined in the center by a structure called a centromere. Stage 2 the membrane around the nucleus breaks down and threads from across the cell. The chromosomes line up on the threads. Stage 3 The duplicated chromosomes are pulled apart by the threads. The single chromosome moves to opposite sides of the cell. Stage 4 A nuclear membrane forms around each set of single chromosomes. The cell begins to divide into two cells. Stage 5. Two cells form. Each cell has a nucleus containing an identical set of chromosomes. Mitochondria, or energy-producing structures, in cells contain a small amount of DNA. Unlike DNA in the cell nucleus, which is inherited from both parents, mitochondrial DNA is inherited only from the mother. Mistakes in copying mitochondrial DNA, also known as mutations, is the cause of a small number of genetic disorders. In 1953, 
scientists James Watson and Francis Crick, who were working at a laboratory in Cambridge, discovered the structure of DNA using X-ray crystallography and Cargraph ratios. These ratios state that in the DNA of any given species, the ratio of adenine and thymine is equal, as is the ratio of cytosine and guanine. They built a model of the DNA molecule showing a form of a double helix with which they explained their findings. Watson, Crick, and notably a few other scientists by the name of Maurice Wilkins and Rosalind Franklin were awarded the Nobel Prize in 1962.